Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Nicole Cole and I love to decorate our home and I love to share it with you all. Today, we are going to work. This is an area that I have been doing for my husband. I have bought a piece from one of my girlfriends out of Birmingham, Alabama. It is absolutely gorgeous. So I wanna kind of work on styling that area. And then on this side, you can see this huge hutch that I have purchased <clears throat> and I want to do the inside uh, more, you know, masculine for my husband. So I thought that we would do this today. I can't wait to share with you, you know, all the pretties that we have. And then I am looking for two pieces of artwork to go in these areas right here beside the hutch. I want something very masculine there. So we're working on this area. I'd love to have a rug, but let me show you what I have so far. Now, just know it's kind of a hodgepodge right now. I'm still working on it, and that's why I wanted you all here. So, I have moved his deer head, the um, one that's a little bit lower. It was in that corner over there, and to get that hutch to fit, we had to move it over here. We were going to sell this desk, and, you know, we still have it on Facebook Marketplace. If we sell it, we will do something different here, but otherwise for now, that is what we're going with. Now on this wall, I had this white cabinet and I'm gonna spin around super slow. I had this white cabinet and that moved over here behind our couch area. This is that piece that I was telling you about. Look how pretty, and I got to get rid of my cords and there's boxes over here. This corner y'all has been such a hodgepodge since we moved into this house i know everyone has an area that just doesn't come together till like right at the last so be patient with me i am looking for a rug to go in this area i love the flooring i just think it needs some color over here uh, that pillow cover is faux it's antelope but it looks similar to a deer my mother picked up the this one. I may style it slightly different, but it's a black um, deer she purchased at Bass Pro Shop. It actually had a little um, Christmas wreath around the neck. So I just took that off and used it as this. And I did want our lamp and lampshade that has our initials on it over here. But um, I love this table, y'all. It's gorgeous. So my girlfriend from high school, her name is Stephanie. Thank you so much for hooking your friend up. And I love it over here. It just adds to that color, just like the hutch is. Now let's move on to the hutch. So as you can see, I've already got some items sitting in it. These were some old encyclopedias of my mom and daddy's. And then I have two jars that I have collected and the one in the back was from my great grandfather. He was a local doctor. I even have this is one of his prescription pads. So I have that framed and I was gonna put it over here. So the area, I want very masculine and I wanna do something up top, but I wanted y'all to see how gorgeous this piece is. I purchased it from a local thrift store. The one that I share with you all, Just Stuff in Op Alabama. If y'all are coming through Op on your way to the beach, you need to stop at Just Stuff absolutely wonderful you have to dig sometimes but that's the thrill of the hunt i love it um so let's decorate this area i cannot get over how pretty this cabinet is i love the colors of it i love the variations of it it is oak it's solid wood uh it's it's absolutely beautiful i am still noticing some they had some tape where i had i had put it on layaway so um if you find a piece and you can't quite afford it at the moment they, there's a lot of thrift stores or antique malls that offer layaway. I would strongly suggest to take advantage of it, advantage of it, because, you know, you run across a piece sometimes and you may not ever run across it again. So if you love it, if you don't have the money, go ahead and put it on layaway. You can pay a little along. Some of them offer a month or two months. I believe ours was a month, but I had the funds to get it out pretty quickly. I just... Um, for one, my husband was sick, and for another, um, I, I needed somebody to help me get it here. So let's decorate this area. I do want to use my encyclopedias. 
So I'm just going to kind of mix those in. So I want some standing and some sitting. I do want a variation. So what I think I'm going to do is that right there. And then I have some other pieces, and I'm going to share every piece with you all. These were my daddy's. These are some old pipes that he had. And just for that memorabilia, I wanted to add that in. Do y'all remember this uh, antique piece that I picked up? That You'll see several of the pieces that I got from her. <clears throat> I got this uh, little measuring tape. I'm going to add that in. But so let's move to the top just slightly because you know, I like a variation. I want the eye to carry across the piece. So since I have the bulk over here, I want to do the bulk on this side. So with these encyclopedias, I'm just going to move to catch your eye across the piece. Now I am going to do something on this side as well, but I think I'm going to move this larger. This was my grandfather's medicine jars, one of his medicine jars. You put that in here and then maybe I could put his prescription pad right there beside it. So, and if anyone asked, it's right there. So I want something here, but I don't want to do all of my uh, jaded or amber jar, excuse me. So we bought this some time ago at a local um, store. It, it was, it's an antique. It was just pieced together. It's got some turkey feathers from my husband's father's funeral that we added into it. But I'm just going to stick this in the back. And that adds some shininess as well, so it gives some variation. Let's see. So I'm going to kind of move down on the piece because I don't try to decorate one shelf at a time. I just can't do that because I want to visually see what I'm trying to do. So I have these larger amber jars, and I think since I have that one, I'm going to slant it over just slightly from it and then do these here with the short one with some greenery. I love that look and it's really pretty. Then on the back, I have two old books that I'm going to add and for some variation of color, I may turn this one around just to bring, your, bring it out so it's not so dark and heavy. This is the handkerchief of my father-in-law's. I'm just going to set that here with the um, shoe brush that I had gotten from Rusty Ridge Vintage Pheasants that we had gotten for Christmas. I'm going to mix those in for some color. I think I'm going to do one on this side facing out and then maybe, maybe I should do this. It does not want to sit there. Oh, it worked. So I just laid it there and I put the pheasant over there on my father-in-law's um, handkerchief. Now I kind of want to move up here since I have this. Yeah two beautiful owls. I got these for Christmas as well. And I thought, hey, I'm trying to go for that look over here. So I will use them in this area. Uh, this is an old football game. My mother found it when we, when they were moving. So she gave it to my husband and he was like, oh, put that in that cabinet. That'll be cool. So I have to figure out <laughs> how to use it over here. And I may just kind of lay it to the side. Eh, maybe just like this. That works, right? So now I want to move up to the top. Wait, I have one other piece. This is that other brush that I got. I'm just going to add it in here to bring in some brightness in front of this amber jar. Love this look. Let me back you up. So I want to discuss how I did this, okay? So heavy, heavy. And then I did some heavy in the middle, heavy. So I try to vary the heaviness and the lines so it carries your eyes across the piece. I hope you're understanding what I'm saying. That is the way my great aunt was an interior decorator. I am not. I just love to play. 
and this is how she would tell me, you know, start on one side, move to the other, and go diagonal across the piece until you get it decorated. I still think a lot of the items in the back are very dark, and I would love something bright, maybe a piece of artwork with some greens in it, but I'm just going with what I have at, at this time. So let's move to the top.